Good morning. Thank you for joining me for another five good minutes with the Word. I'm Barry Bryson. We're continuing our study of the Wisdom Psalms of David, and we're in the, the third stanza, or perhaps the break, <laughs> the interlude, of Psalm 37. There, there are four stanzas or four sections, um, but the third one is a lot longer than the other three, and the last one is the shortest. It makes me wonder, just in terms of musically, the way, you know, when we write songs in our Western tradition, you have a couple of verses and then maybe an interlude or a break or a bridge that might last a long time, and, and uh, especially if you have solos, and then you recapitulate, you know, the theme, the musical theme, I don't know. But this is longer, but it's a tight package uh, of po a poetic passage uh, connecting especially with uh, verse 19 of the first stanza. So, um, in the days of famine, uh, God's people don't, they, they, they have abundance, our heritage will remain forever. And then he says, but, but the wicked will perish in verse 20. Let's not forget that the theme of this song is calm. He doesn't want us to fret ourselves. Because he says, if you fret yourselves, uh, it will only tend to evil. Do not wind yourself up about the sinful world you live in. It is thus. It will always be thus. Um, but what is also true is that evil, uh, although it does a great deal of damage, it slays the righteous, it brings the poor down, um, and, 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 and uh, um, takes advantage of. Um, people who are weak, takes advantage of the weak, uh, inevitably and always the wicked wickedness will destroy itself and good will always triumph over evil. And so he's telling us to calm down. And that's what we have here um, in, in this, in, again, these themes repeated. Um, and um, it's just beautiful poetry verses 20 through 34. So let's go ahead and read it. The wicked will perish, but the enemies of the Lord are like the glory of the pastures. They vanish like the smoke, they vanish away. The wicked borrows, but does not pay back, but the righteous is generous and gives. For those blessed by the Lord shall inherit the land, but those cursed by him shall be cut off. The steps of a man are established by the Lord when he delights in his way. Though he fall, he shall not be cast headlong, for the Lord holds his hand. I have been young, and now I'm old, and yet I have not seen the righteous forsaken or his children begging for bread. He is ever lending generously, and his children become a blessing. Turn away from evil and do good. So, you, so shall you dwell forever. For the Lord loves justice. He will not forsake his saints. They are preserved forever, but the children of the wicked shall be cut off. The righteous shall inherit the land and dwell upon it forever. The mouth of the righteous utters wisdom and his tongue speaks justice. The law of God is in his heart. His steps do not slip. The wicked watches for the righteous and seeks to put him to death. The Lord will not abandon him to his power or let him be condemned when he is brought to trial. Wait for the Lord and keep his way and he will exalt you to inherit the land. You will look on when the wicked are cut off. So we have the refrain that, that has gone on throughout the song um, and uh, um, beginning in verse 11 about inheriting the land. The meek will inherit the land. The righteous uh, will inherit the land. Uh, those who wait upon God um, will inherit the land. God will exalt and they will inherit the land. And, and, and because we have an inheritance, we are able to be generous. And it's that generosity that seems to be the theme of this third stanza that, that what are the wicked about? Taking all they can and hurting others. That doesn't change the righteous. The righteous doesn't, doesn't, doesn't re respond in kind. The righteous is, a righteous person is someone who, who, who will share. Um, 
and and um, and therefore, therefore, he always has a future. He always has abundance. God makes sure of it, uh, and that's introduced in those first three verses. Wicked, are, they're 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 going to perish. They are not permanent. They're like you know the glory of the pasture, uh, or smoke. You know it's there momentarily, and then and then it's gone. They borrow, but they don't pay back. The righteous are generous, and they give. Verse twenty one. Those who are blessed by the Lord shall inherit the land. We have an inheritance. They don't. They're just temporary, and they take and they don't give. We give because we have abundance. We have inheritance. Because God loves us. Um, uh, God will establish our steps. And though he fall, though he fall, it, it reminds me a lot of um, 1 John chapter 1, verse 5 through chapter 2, verse 2, particularly the chapter 1 verses, where if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship with each other. And in that same thought, uh, he says, we sin, we are sinners, we're going to be sin. We're going to be sinning. Um, God establishes our feet, and yet we stumble. David knows this. He knows this from his own life, that he did this. And yet, because we love God and we want to do right, when we don't do the right thing but do the wrong thing, God's not going to let us pitch into a pit. He's going to, because he's got a hold of our hand. And you get the picture of, a father walking with a little one, you know, maybe two, three years old, and they're toddling around on their chubby legs, and maybe they stumble over themselves, but they don't scrape their knees because dad's got a hold of their hand. He can just pick them back up and plant them back down on the ground, and that's that's what he's envisioning. There's that passage in verses 25 and 26 that can be a bit challenging. I've been young and, I've, and now I'm old. I've never seen the righteous forsaken. Yes, we understand that. Or his children begging for bread. Does that mean that rich folk, their, their children are never, I mean, righteous folk, their children will never go hungry? I don't know that we can say that. We have brethren around the world um, who are in want and who are being persecuted. Um, I just have known... I'm old enough to know people who live who were children during the depression, and 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 who often went hungry. Um, the point is, they're not beholden uh, to handouts. That God will always find a way to take care of His people. Um, and if we turn away from evil and do good, we will be established forever upon the land. Um, we will utter wisdom. We will speak justice, uh, and we have that whole notion of our steps. God doesn't let his steps slip in verse 31. Wait for the Lord. Wait for the Lord and keep his way. Okay, we're going to end the psalm next time, verses 35 through 40. Thank you for joining me for another five good minutes with the word.